so this is the very basic uh, calculator which i build and uh, nothing different it is same as a normal calculator if you see uh, how it is working we are selecting the display which is the input field which is this the calculator we are selecting this the whole calculator and we have stored all the special characters in an array called special okay so we are checking if if uh, inside article which means inside this calculator if anything is clicked is that a button if it's a button we are uh, doing some operations like uh, first of all we are storing the value which is there in the button if you see the index uh, i have stored a value which is a data num called uh, is same as the button value so whenever uh, it is clicked we are storing that value in button value and then we are comparing if it is an ac which means this so it will perform an clear operation if you see uh, we are entering some number and if we see it is all clear and we are clearing it then it checks for delete button which slice one element from the last so if we see we perform delete and it is deleting an element from the end okay so next we are checking for if it is an equal and not empty okay so if it is an equal button if it is clicked and not empty so now uh, the value is empty so we are clicking nothing is happening because both the conditions should be true so let's say if it is not empty and this is a number so if it is equal it goes here and stores this but nothing will happen because here if we see it is storing uh, if we see here equal or if it is this then it goes to the next uh, statement which is doing nothing printing uh, blank but if we do some operation like this so it will uh, get into this condition then it will directly print because it is getting and uh, displaying the value over here so if we do this it is getting printed okay so for printing we are using a function called eval and i will be showing why you should not use eval function and allow any user interaction with it okay so this is the code uh, so i'll show you this is the index so every button this is the row every row is stored in a section so these are the row very basic and this is the css so let's see why we should not use an eval function so eval function what an eval function does it evaluates all the script so whatever you give to this function it will just compile it okay so if we give like okay let me let me open my console if we see console.log and we just run this eval function through uh, this equal button and you see it is executing so similarly somebody goes and writes a malicious script and tries to inject it from your uh, ui like this and it executes that function eval function and here we go the the script executes so uh, to prevent that uh, what you can do you can use this function instead of uh, eval function you can use math.evaluate function for which uh, you need an cdn uh, and math.js library to run this function math.evaluate so if now the person tries to uh, run his script through your ui now it shows an error so you can catch that through event handling uh, by just catching that error and uh, throw some output or whatever you want to print and one more method is that uh, 
if you don't want to use any external uh, library what you can do instead of instead of uh, using any external library you can still use eval function but now don't allow user to enter anything instead block block the input field so now if you do this pointer events none so now no one can enter anything in this input field so now they can interact only with this button so yes this is a normal calculator which you can use so yep this is a good thing this pointer event none you can't enter anything malicious so eval function is the first issue which i faced and one more issue i was facing that uh, if user have not entered anything and he clicks equal to or any kind of special character it also gets registered in the input field which i don't want so for that i did this so i use this condition special dot includes display value so what it does it checks the value which is in display with this array which is which contains the special characters so if it is a special character it just does not enter it just prints a blank screen so we use this for special characters and separately i use a equal so this was the very basic calculator most of the time went in designing this css so thank you for watching see you on the next project